Hi everyone, I'm Maggie Walden from Maggie'sCrochet.com and every once in a while in crochet there are these defining moments and I really think that this board is one of them. This is so beautiful. I just love this. I've just been walking it around the office and this is to introduce a series of flower videos that we're doing here on YouTube and we're going to do videos on every single one of these flowers and then there's going to be several other flowers also. And most of these were done with worsted weight yarn and all different um, brands of yarn were used for this. And um, I just think it's really beautiful. Look at this. And so you could, it's a great way to use up scraps. And this one flower down at the bottom, the, let me see, I got to go this way. The pink one here, it, I made it big enough so you could actually put like a little uh, votive candle in the middle. And you could use these like for to decorate scarves or hats or um, just anything, placements, anything. I just love these things. So anyway, well, I'm, we're going to take you to a close-up lesson. And Christina is going to show you how to make the flowers. And please, please, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos because it really helps us out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. Hi everybody, it's Christina from Maggie'sCrochet.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little easy pearl rose. Uh, it's a little five petal flower. You can put some leaves with it and then the, the cute thing is we put a little pearl button right there in the center. So here, you know, I've got it on this little doll shirt. Um, this was obviously made with a very fine crochet thread and a small hook. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger today. You can make yours any size you want. Just uh, pick out your thread that you want to use. Use the appropriate size for that kind of yarn. And you can have either a little tiny flower or a bigger one depending on what you choose. Whatever you're using, I'm using a, just a regular old worsted weight yarn today with a size H hook. You're going to start by chaining four and then join it together to form a ring. So insert your needle into the first chain stitch you made, the one nearest the slip knot there, and just do a little slip stitch so that you have a nice little ring. We're gonna start working into that ring, start with a chain three, and then we're gonna do a popcorn stitch. Now in this case, our popcorn stitch, we're gonna start we're going to do three triple crochets, but we're not going to finish them. So it starts like usual. You could uh, yarn over twice. We'll go right into the middle of the loop. Pick up a loop. We'll pull, th pull through two. Pull through two. And normally we'd pull through one more time and that would finish our triple crochet. But we're going to stop right here and go ahead and start the next one. So yarn over, yarn over. Insert down into the middle of the loop pull through, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and then that's where we're going to stop. And we're going to do this one more time. Yarn over, yarn over, insert down into the middle, pull loop through, pull through two, pull through two, and at this point you should have four loops on your hook. One you started with and then one for each triple crochet you didn't quite finish. So go ahead and yarn over and pull through all four of those at once. Then you're going to chain three, two and three, and then uh, do a slip stitch right in the middle of the ring again. So that's right here. All right, so that is one petal. We're going to repeat that four more times uh, from the first chain three. And then when we come back, we'll have five petals. So I'm going to go make four other petals real quick, and then we'll come back and take a look at it. After you've finished your fifth petal, you can go ahead and cut your yarn and finish that off. I'll weave it in just a minute. Um, if you find, like me, that you've got a little bit of a hole in the center of your flower, don't worry too much because for one thing, you're going to sew a little button over the top of that, and two, if it really does bug you or you think it's a little too big, go grab the tail from the, where you started. This was uh, at the end of the slip knot, and if you tug on that just a little bit, you can usually close 
that little hole up. Maybe not all the way because we do have a lot of stitches worked into there, but now that will definitely be covered by um, when we sew the little center button on. So when you've got your flower, lay that to the side. We're going to pick up your green yarn next, the same weight of yarn you used for the flower, um, and we're going to make some leaves. So start by chaining nine. In the second chain from the hook, so skip one here in the second one, you're going to work a single crochet. In the next five stitches, you're going to work a double. So one, two, three, four, and there's our fifth one. In the next stitch, right here, do a single crochet. And then a slip stitch in your last chain. All right, that's one leaf. Now if you wanted only one leaf, you could stop there and just go and sew that on. If you want another leaf though, you don't have to make them all separately. You can just repeat the whole thing from here. Um, so let's see, like, you know, we'll just go back to the beginning and chain nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I can do the same thing. Skip one, single crochet, and then five double crochets. And you can do this as many times as you want, for as many leaves as you want. And that way you have uh, fewer ends to weave in. I, th I usually think fewer pieces is better. The less stuff I have to assemble, usually the better it works out for me. So let's see, that's four, one more. and then a single crochet, and then a slip stitch. So like I said, you could do as many of these as you want. I'll just do two for now. Go ahead and leave a fairly long tail, and we'll use that to sew our leaves directly to the flower. Finish that off. Grab your yarn needle. I like one with a nice big eye. I find the easiest way to do this is take your yarn, kind of fold it in half, pinch it between your fingers, and then just kind of wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your yarn needle over it. That's a lot easier than trying to thread just the end through the needle. So then we can go take our flower, sew on some leaves. And let's see, we'll just go through, and this is the same method I use for sewing in ends. Go through a couple of stitches. Like I said, these stitches are, a lot of stitches worked into this one small space, so you may have to fight it a little bit. Um, and then just back backtrack a little bit. I'm going to go back through those before moving on and come out about there. And then you'll want to go back, let's see, try going through here. Can you do this prettier, prettier than me? Probably, but it's going to stay and that's what I'm concerned with right now. And depending on what you're using this for, you know, if you're going to sew it directly onto something else or, you know, glue it onto something back doesn't have to be pretty. So all that's left to do now is uh, sew in the rest of my ends and then I'll go find my little pearl button and heat up my, I'll either sew it on or I may just heat up my hot glue gun and stick it right there in the middle. So that is the Easy Pearl Rose. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments below and you'll find uh, the links for everything you need for this down in the description. Thanks for watching.
And this is the third part, um, which we're going to do the edging round. So um, at the end of row 13, so what that is, is to just go between these two shells and go into that space right there and work a single crochet like that. 